Hi, my name is Stephanie Willie, and welcome to this edition of Mentoring Matters. Joining me in the studio today is Lisa Moss. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Glad to be here. So tell me, how did you get involved in the mentoring project? Well, our church, Oak Ridge Baptist, decided to partner with Y High, and they encouraged anybody that could to volunteer to mentor, and I've actually wanted to for about seven or eight years, and this was the push I needed, and I did it, and I've loved it. Well, tell you, i got to ask you, you've got an accent. Tell me where you're from. Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. Yes. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. I've lived here for <laughs> nine years. <laughs> you definitely have a nice accent, though. I can tell you from somewhere out west or in the south. I hear that quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how many students do you mentor? This year I mentor two. I've had one for two years, and then I got another one this year. So... So you're still working with two students currently. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to meet Kiara in our next segment, so I'm looking forward to chatting with her. She's awesome. <laughs> I'm sure she is. It sounds like from, from what you're saying that you really do enjoy being a mentor. So why did you want to become a mentor? I just have always, I want to make a difference. I, when, when I'm old and dying, I want, it, I want it, someone to be able to say she made a difference in the life of somebody else. So. What do you enjoy about mentoring? I think I enjoy all of it. I think I probably benefit more than she does. Uh, Kira has been awesome. She's funny. She's cute as a button. And she just, um, I just love being with her and talking to her and going to her classes. And I just love all of it. Do you feel that you've made a difference in Kira's life? You know, I hope so. I know she's made a difference in mine. So. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Have, what have you noticed different since you've been working with her? Well, I feel like now we, uh, she talks to me more about more personal things. and That means uh, she trusts you. I hope so, mm -hmm. you know, but we're, I just feel close to her. And um, my other mentor or mentee is um, younger, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's taken a while, and it usually does, and we're getting closer. And I, I just enjoy that. I enjoy that bond. Well, you brought up a really good point because a lot of people think it's going to be instant success and instant gratification, and you really have to take time to get to know one another, and that trust and respect builds over time, and they have to be able to depend upon you to be there one hour every week. Isn't that what, about what it takes? That's right, mm -hmm. and I, I do think that a lot of, I hear some of my, the mentors go, you know, I just, I, I don't feel like I'm making a difference, and I'm like, you're not giving it time because it does make a difference, but you're right. I mean, they don't know you. It's going to take a while. And sometimes, you know, they've had disappointments in their life, so they're looking for you to set the example and say, do what you say you're going to do and be there every week for them. I agree. I think that's exactly what they're looking for. And, you know, many of them just need someone to listen to them. You know, at, at home, they, their parents might be both working and not have a lot of adult supervision and someone that they can talk to on a regular basis. And that's what I enjoy. They do that. And, you know, it's really interesting, too, um, Lisa. We surveyed about 687 mentors, uh, mentees, rather, last year, and we've been tracking them. And 50% mm -hmm. have improved their grades, 33% have improved their attendance, and 45% have improved their behavior. And I think those are just wonderful statistics, don't you? Oh, I do. That's great. Have you noticed those changes with your students? Actually, I have great students, mm -hmm. but I think I have noticed that, especially with the oldest one, uh, she tended to be late quite a bit, and I've just encouraged her to work on just being on time, and she's done a great job this year. So, What kind of things do you do with your students when you go to school? Oh, wow. Well, occasionally I go to their classes with them, and uh, a lot of times if we can get a room off to ourselves, we'll take games in there so we can visit while we're playing games, which makes it a little less awkward in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I encourage that. I've had some people say, I didn't know you could do that. But it gives them something to do and you something to do as you get to know them. What kind of games do you like to play with them? Well, they taught me that, Manicula, and I went out and bought it. It's this <laughs> okay. little marble game. And oh, we okay. play Yahtzee. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I've actually played that too with, with my mentee. She's, they're, they're both, both girls taught me how to play, mm -hmm. and now I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You know, we have 687 current mentors, mm -hmm. but we really do need to have 800 more. We've got 800 students on a waiting list. So if you could do me a huge favor and encourage, encourage everyone at your church, you know, Oak Ridge Baptist Church has been a partner with the Mentoring Project for some time. I don't know exactly how many mentors you have, but I'm sure there's lots more that we could mm -hmm. uh, recruit. So you could do, a, do me and, the, and Henrietta Parker a big favor and try to help us recruit some more mentors. I will do that. 
and we'll be right back and you'll get to meet Kiara Fuchs. Welcome back to this edition of Mentoring Matters. We're now going to hear from Kiara Fuchs. Welcome, Kiara. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Thank you for joining me in the studio and taking a few moments to chat about your experiences with mentoring. First of all, tell me, what grade are you in? 11th. And your school? Why High. Now, I'm not going to hold that against you. You know, I'm from Parkside. <laughs> I'm a Parkside girl, but Why High is a great school, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, you were just telling me they call themselves the... Premier School. The Premier School. Yeah. Why is that? Um, Mr. Well, our principal, Mr. Hughes, he wants us to be high in academics and achievements and our grades. Uh -huh. So I guess no bad behavior and you know things like that. I guess he so wants us to be the best in whatever everything we do. Okay. So he really sets the expectations yeah, high. Yeah, very high, very. very and that's <laughs> a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It, it is. gives you something to strive for. Yeah. Uh, tell me something. Um, do you enjoy having a mentor? Yes, love can, it. Can you tell me why? Um, because, well, um, I go through a lot, and sometimes I feel like I don't have nobody to talk to a lot, and Miss Lisa, she's there when I, when I, like, feel bad, and she knows when something's wrong with me, because she can tell, so, and, um, she's there when I need somebody to talk to, I mean, you know, I really don't have nobody, but my brother and my dad and stuff, so, and she's there when I need somebody to talk to, so. That's wonderful. So you really feel she's made a difference in your mm -hmm. life? She encourages me and she tells me that I can do do things and tells me I'm good. She always tells me I'm good and sweet and all the other kind of good stuff I like to hear. <laughs> we all like to hear those yeah. things. Yeah. And I, when I spoke with her earlier, she indicated how much she enjoys working with you. Yeah. And she's learned a lot from you as well. Yeah. That's what she told me. Um, tell me something. Uh, do you think, how do you directly think you've benefited from having a mentor? Can you think of something directly? Well, th like she said about my latenesses, she has a, last year I had like a million. This year I only have like, I think I only have four really? out of the whole entire year. Good. Yeah, so I, I did better. I did better. So, and my grades, she, well, when they go down, you know, she asks me what's wrong. And she encourages me, helps me. Like when I need help with something, like she's been there, she helped me with a couple of my history projects. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that so you know she has some work my work when I need especially if I don't understand something she's helped even if she don't understand we both try to get to understand together so that's wonderful so it really is nice to have someone to come every week that you can rely and yeah. depend upon yeah so tell me what are your plans for the summer well working probably but um, I do want to go my mother she lives in North Carolina so I want to go visit her for mm -hmm. a couple of weeks when we get out of school and basically just have the time to do have hang with my friends and my family and stuff like that. Now, am I correct? You're going to be a senior next year. Yes. Do you have plans after you graduate? I want to um, be a cosmetologist. I want to do hair, so I'm going to go. I want to go to school for my business degree, and then I want to um, get my license to do hair for beauty. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. So you've already got a goal, and yeah. you're working towards that. Yeah, and trying. One of the important things is to have good grades and good attendance and mm -hmm. all those good things. So it sounds like that uh, you and Lisa formed quite a bond, and you'll probably yeah. remain friends for a long time. Yeah, forever. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is great. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Let me ask you one more question. Okay. When you get older, would you consider being a mentor yourself? Sure. I would love to. I, I like people, and I'm a people person, so and I'm... You know, I would love to do it. I believe you told me a little bit of a social bug. Everybody yeah. knows you. Yeah. And that's the key, just you like working with people. Yeah. So yeah. you would be willing to do that when you got a little bit older. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful because we have a, a, quite a few uh, mentor-mentee relationships from Salisbury University. Mm -hmm. And that, it's been very beneficial to have people sometimes even closer to their age working with yeah. them. So yeah. I'm glad to hear that you're going to consider that. And I want to wish you all the best in your career and Thank keep you. up those good grades. I'll try. And that attendance, it's very, very important. <laughs> yes, it is. And for those of you in the audience today, if you could spare one hour a week, we could certainly use your help. We have a waiting list of approximately 800 students that still need to have a mentor. If you're interested, please call and contact Henrietta Parker at 410-677-4586, and I believe there'll be a website on the screen. I'd also like to say thank you so much to PAC-14 for allowing us to come on and film these programs. Thank you.